everybody, it's Ron Henry Tattoos. I'm gonna show you how to make an Aussie burger with the lot. Let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do my recipe based on 250 grams of beef mince. Now if you wanna make more, just multiply the recipe with however many you want. In my case, I'm just gonna make one, but a decent size one. So to our mince, the first thing we're gonna do is add in half a teaspoon of salt. Next, we'll add in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of sweet paprika, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Next we'll add in one tablespoon of tomato sauce or tomato ketchup. And finally a tablespoon of chopped parsley. And all we're gonna do now is mix well. Now guys, you don't need to add eggs, you don't need to add breadcrumbs, you don't need to add flour, anything like that. We're not making a meatloaf burger, we're making a beef burger. So you really need to work it in. So we'll bring it back together into a bowl, just like that. And we'll just cover that with some cling wrap. And we're gonna place this into the fridge for about half an hour. Just let those flavors develop. All right guys, so we'll make our sauce next. So just into a small bowl, I'm gonna add one heaped tablespoon of mayonnaise. And to this, I'm gonna add the same amount of tomato sauce or tomato ketchup, so about a heaped tablespoon. And next we'll add one teaspoon of yellow mustard. And all we're going to do is mix this all together. Just like that. Now this not only goes perfect on burgers, but on hot dogs as well. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and shake this now. Now look, you do have two options here. You can actually split this in half and make two if you want. But as I said, I'm going to make one decent sized one. Or you can even make two and put them into the same one so you have two patties. So guys, what we're going to do is just wet our hands a bit and then we're just going to mold this into a perfect spear. So get it as smooth as you can. That'll help keep its shape. And then all we're going to do is just gently with our palms just start flattening it down. Just like that until we get a nice round burger shape. Now you want to make the patty a little bit bigger than our actual burger bun because it will shrink when it cooks. So I'm just going to keep pressing down just a little bit more, just so it's a little bit bigger. Okay, and that's looking perfect right there, I like that. So I'm just going to place this onto a sheet of baking paper just to ensure it won't stick to anything. And let's move on to our stove. Alright guys, so just into a large pan on a medium to high heat, I'm going to add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. Once that oil heats up, we'll add in our burger patty straight in. You want to make sure to hear that sizzle when it goes in. Now I should also point out, if you want, you can actually grill this, barbecue it, put it in the oven, whatever you like. Now while our burger's cooking, I'm going to add in three streaky rashes of bacon as well. You don't have to do that, that's up to you. So we're going to continue cooking until the side of our patty starts to turn brown. Then we'll know it's time to flip over. Alright guys, so as you can see the sides are brown, so we're going to go ahead and flip our patty now. And that's beautiful. Now at this same point we'll also flip over our bacon, and that's looking beautiful. We just want it to be nice, brown and crispy. Okay guys, so I'm just at the 4 minute mark now. Our patty itself is nice and firm as you can tell. So I don't want to go more than that, we don't want it to be dry. And our bacon's nice and crispy too. So we're going to take the bacon off, place it straight on top of our burger, just like that. And what we're going to do is crack in one whole egg right into the pan like that. And you don't have to break that yolk, just leave it as it is and let that cook. Okay, so our eggs cook nicely now as well, as you can see, we don't want to overcook it. So we'll just carefully lift that up. And that goes straight on top of our burger as well, just like that. And let the yolk break on the burger like that. So now we're adding our buns into the pan to get those lightly toasted. Now at this point we'll turn the heat off, we don't need any more heat. Okay, so let's remove the bombs and start putting this together. So guys, first thing we'll do is grab our sauce, 
We'll place half on the top like that, spread it out nicely. Half off the bottom, spread it out nicely. Now on the bottom we're going to put a layer of mixed lettuce. We'll put a slice of cheese on the top bun. Next we'll grab our patty with the bacon and the egg and put that straight on top, very carefully. Next I'm just going to add about three to four slices of tomato straight on top. One slice of pineapple, two slices of beetroot, and some homemade onion rings. Just like that. Guys, we'll put the bun straight on top, but I've got a skewer here. So what we're going to do is put the bun on top and put the skewer all the way through. As you can see, that'll help hold it so it won't fall. And of course, you can't have a burger without fries. That goes straight next to it like that. And there we have it. That's one way to celebrate National Burger Day. Okay, guys, and that's my take on an Aussie burger with a lot. And how mean does that look? Amazing. So guys, variation wise, there is no such thing as a right way of making a burger, endless possibilities. Happy National Burger Day, I'll see you all next time.